Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the course F problem, maximize adjacent sum. Okay, so what we will call it? So we are given an array A that is size greater than two, greater than or equal to two. Okay, and we define a function F A that is summation of i equal to one to n minus one, and we need to sum A i and A i plus one. So <clears throat> we need to find the maximum value of F A. That we can obtain by rearranging the elements of A in any arbitrary order. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see the example for our understanding. <clears throat> so in the case first three and six we have. So we we can do the rearrangement like six three, but it will not affect the sum. So the answer is nine here. It is very straightforward. Okay. So let's see the next case. By that we can do something. Two, two. So let me have it. So two, two, one, two, two. So if we start taking some from the start, <coughs> then we'll have four, four, then three, then three again, then four. So here the answer is fourteen, but we can rearrange in some way that will get the better answer, greater than fourteen. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible if we rearrange in this fashion: one, two, 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 and two. Right. So if we do this, then we have three, four, four, and four. This is fifteen, and this is the right thing. So let's see a better example. <clears throat> so let's suppose if we have one, two, three, four, and five. This is the example. What should be the sum? So in this case, if we directly go with the method we thought that we will directly calculate and let it be sorted method. So if we have here three, then five, then seven, and then nine. So total summation is sixteen plus twenty-one, twenty-four. Is something greater possible? Is it? Um, maybe. Maybe greater is possible. <clears throat> so we need to find the way. So we need to find the better way. Okay. So let it be if we rearrange this in the fashion like this. So let it be one, three, four, five, and two. Can we get better? Let's see. So in this case we have four, seven, nine. Nine and this seven. So seven and sixteen, sixteen and seven. That is twenty-three, twenty-seven. And previously we got twenty-four. So this is better. This is obviously better. So what we can think of? So if you notice with the <coughs> with the function we are given that we need to take the summation of a i. And e i plus one for every i, right? If you notice this thing, then what is happening? And i equal to zero to i equal to n minus one. This is the case. If you notice this thing, then you can notice, like uh, suppose you have a zero plus a one. Then a one plus a two and so on. Last, you will have a n a n minus one basically. This thing. So if you notice, um, so if you notice, like this element is coming twice. A two 
is coming twice. But this particular element and this last element is coming only once. These two elements, first and last, are coming only once. So with this thing, we can notice like we should have the minimum elements at both extreme, so that we can we can reduce the contribution of those minimum elements. So like what we can do, we can do just sorting, sort the array like one, two, three, four, five. After that, what you will notice, like this element and this element has the minimum contribution. But we don't want to do that. We want to maximize the contribution of 5. And we need to uh, like reduce the contribution also. So we need to reduce, we will reduce the contribution of this two. First two elements, we will reduce the contribution and we will increase the contribution of remaining elements and that is two times so what you can do like directly take the sum of these two b of 0 and b of 1 and then twice of every element afterwards i hope you got it let me show you how will you get it so suppose you have 1 2 3 4 5 Right. So if you do that, like take the sum, 1 and 2, that is 3. Twice of 3, that is 6. Twice of 4, that is 8. Twice of 5, that is 10. If you take the sum, 6, 8, 14, 24, and 27. And that is our answer. That is our answer. So you need to think in this fashion. To solve this question hope you understood this solution so let's see the code mm -hmm. so we just need to take the input declare the vector sort the vector take the sum of first two element then add in the answer of p of i times 2 that's it you will get your answer hope you understood the solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding